Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Farming Simulator 15 on Manor Farm. Today we are continuing to sell round bales. Um, and yes, I did completely miss the exit first off. First time there. Um, we're continuing to sell our round bales because we need money. And um, it would be nice to have some money. And I want to get an auto stacker trailer because this is a lot of work. And there are less round bales than there are. Or less, bleh, less hay bales than there are straw bales. And straw bales are always just that. Well, the straw bales are a lot less um, worthwhile, shall I say. They're not. They don't bring me all that money. <laughs> all that much money. So, in an ideal world. I'll be getting rid of the hay, and then I'll have enough money to get the auto stacker so that I can just stack up the straw bales in the main farmyard. Because I'm not going to be selling those. And if I do, I'll sell them with the auto stacker, because then there's actually a reason for it. I don't know why my voice is so dry today, it's just being that way. So, how much do I even need for this trailer? Because I never checked. 24,000. So that's what? 14 more bales? Ish. Well, seventeen hundred. So, ten more bales. No. Maybe. It's probably like eight or nine more, and I've definitely got that many out in the field here. So all the hay bales are gonna go. Even if I get the auto stacker before I finish getting the hay bales, they're all going to go. Um, because the more money I can have, the better, because that means, hey, I can do things. Um, I was going to say something that was just completely wrong. I was going to talk about when I was putting the... the um, bailer away, which I didn't. Uh, no, it was the wind roar I put away, because... I forgot to put it away when I was finishing the wind drawing. I was going to talk about something that was there. Um, I have both sets of fertilization equipment at the moment. I have the um, pellet spreader and the uh, liquid sprayer. I think I'm going to get rid of the um, sprayer in front of the spray tank because, well, this isn't a map of soil mods, so I don't actually need them. And I th think it might actually be cheaper to get rid of all of the fertilization equipment I can have and replace it with um, one of the bigger sprayers that I have as a mod. Which is a bit odd, but I can deal with that if that's actually the most efficient way. Yep. There we go. I, I would like to be able to... Yes, there's a ton more bales <laughs> We've definitely got enough to get the the auto stacker. The question is, how much will we get after the auto stacker? Because that's you know this is money that we've already spent essentially, and the question is, how much money will we have to spend afterwards? Because there are a few other things that I want up to thirteen thousand, three and a half, which is good. That's from two bales as well. So it'll be about eight bales. About eight bales to get from 10 to 24. I think, roughly. I know I could have brought out a calculator or something and done the actual calculation, but that's not something I'm willing to do. And, um, I'm gonna apologize again. Uh, I apologize again. Uh, Apologize again if my voice is really, really quiet. Um, for whatever reason, the game sounds are quite low in OBS, but through my headphones, and I have no idea how to fix this, through my headphones they are insanely loud, like almost deafeningly loud, and they're only at 50%, so I might have to do some fiddling there. Um, 
hopefully I'm coming out over them. That's kind of the plan, is to uh, to be louder than the game. Where am I over here? Way back soon. So, I'm almost wondering if I can't sell bales in here. Is there a trigger in here? No. I have been told there is a straw cell point somewhere on this map. The issue is I have no idea where it is. Um, I was told that it was over by the potato and sugar beet storage sheds, which doesn't seem to be the case. And what on earth? Does this... Does that car have collision detection on the front? That's amazing. Oh well. Let's get to the shop. Uh, I'm really glad I closed my windows before I started recording because somebody's just decided to do the lawns. I can hear petrol lawnmower going outside. And I closed them because somebody was talking. So I've managed to get the lesser of two evils there. So my sleeping pattern, for those of you who don't follow the channel, um, is... I'm going to say at best completely random. And right now, it's at its absolute worst. Um, I'm going to just take out a loan for the rest of the money. There we go. So, on Friday, I went to bed at midnight because I hadn't slept on Thursday night, I don't think. And on Friday, I got a grand total of four hours sleep. I woke up at four o'clock in the morning on Saturday. I couldn't get back to sleep after that, so that was essentially the, yeah, that was not fun. Saturday, then I went to bed at about midnight again. I woke up at, I think it was 10 o'clock Sunday morning to get out of bed until like 4. It was lazy. Um, and that was fine. Yesterday then, which was Sunday. I what did I do? I went to bed at like six. Just couldn't sleep. Couldn't sleep. Couldn't sleep. Then it was like eight or nine. I finally got to sleep and I woke up at almost five. Which yeah, I'm, I'm just slowly just descending into ma madness here with in terms of sleep. Um, because I'm either getting nowhere near enough or way too much, and I'm not quite sure how to fix it. If you got any ideas, feel free to tell me. Because going to bed earlier isn't isn't one of them. That just doesn't work for me. I won't sleep until I'm tired. I'll lie. I will literally lie in bed for four or five or six hours at a time, trying to get to sleep and not sleeping. I think I laid in bed once for twelve hours just because I couldn't sleep. Like that's that's the levels my body. That's the level of hatred my body holds for me. Is it, oh, you want to sleep? You want to sleep? No. I'm not going to sleep. And I know this... I know the T4 isn't particularly well, well suited to pulling this trailer, but... It's what I have and I'm not putting the bed away yet. Plus it seems to work pretty well. So, this is set on normal difficulty, by the way, if, if I didn't already mention that. Uh, this save game is normal difficulty, and I haven't tinkered with anything for once. This is actually what the map is like. I think you can get this one on Mod Holster. I think this is available. This map. Um, 
the other Chris maps I have, not so much. Uh, Nickerson's being the exception, because that's kind of now a WBF map. Which, yeah, okay. And uh, I'm going to say now in my map spotlight of Nickerson's, I did screw up quite spectacularly. Um, I said it'd be nice if there were animals and forestry around there. I didn't actually read the description of the map properly. Um, Nickerson's is based on a real farm, as it turns out. Now, I didn't realise this while I was recording, I realised it when I was uploading, which is why I put the disclaimer on the video. Nickerson's is based on a real farm. In the real farm, there are no animals or forestry areas. So, mea culpa, I apologise, I done goofed, everybody makes mistakes, etc. Um, I'm going to keep that video up just as a proof that I make idiotic mistakes. Um, much like, well, you already know I make idiotic mistakes, I'm sure. Further proof, if needed. So, we're up to 14,000 already, again. Although, we got 20,000. We got a loan, I do I want to repay the loan. No, I don't want to repay the loan unless I get miraculously 20,000 from somewhere. So, I think this is the last of the hay bales, unless one has decided to go swimming. So oh, let's check for swimmers. Hey, no swimmers. That's... Honestly, that's amazing. Um, I want to get the straw bales too, but I'm going to switch the straighter over to the... Yeah, I can switch it right here, actually. So... I want to do the straw bales as well, but the T4 is just not powerful enough to do it efficiently. So I'm going to swap over to the 6040. And what we're going to do is we're going to move the straw bales to the cell point as well, sell them all, and just get as much money as we can. Because, hey, why not have money? So, we got about what? Seven minutes left in this video, somehow. And I have no idea what to talk about. I'm just in one of those rooms where my head is imploding. I have a bit of a headache. I'm my voice is for some reason dead, which is nice. I haven't particularly been stressing in the last few days, but it's dead. Um I think it's just a case that I I haven't been drinking enough. Uh, over the last couple of days, and it's, it's just having a bit of... It's just not very impressed that I haven't been drinking all that much. I've just realised that I've been leaned over away from the microphone. Um, but yeah, my voice is just crackly today for whatever reason. It doesn't like me. It never does. It probably never has, and I probably never will. So that's the thing. Also, for some reason, I'm getting tons of screen tearing, but you guys aren't. Um, I'm just looking at OBS and comparing it to... Yeah, for some reason, my actual monitor is causing screen tearing. That's interesting. Because OBS isn't getting any. Hmm. I may have to turn off one or both of the V-Sync options. Um, some things... I think that's the issue, is I got V-Sync turned... This is gonna sound up. The issue that's causing V-Sync issues is that I got V-Sync turned on. Um, the screen tearing is usually V-Sync, is almost always a V-Sync issue. And, um... Normally what you do to solve it is turn on V-Sync. FarmSim seems to be a bit backwards in that if you turn off V-Sync it works better. Um, and I think it's actually adaptive v-sync you don't want turned on. So I might 
fiddle around with those settings at some point. Just for my own sanity. And, oh my god, I'm... Oh god, I think I'm starting to... I actually think I'm starting to get a migraine right now. And that explains why my throat's been a bit crackly today. Is I've been building up to a migraine. Lovely! I've still got two hours of, of recording to do today. Uh, gonna be fun. I'm just glad that the uh, two hours I got left to do are the Cobra Long video, which hasn't been recorded yet. Hooray! Um, <laughs> Cobra Long video that went up yesterday. Which is nice. Um, that hasn't been recorded yet. So, what I'm doing is I'm just going to sell all the bales we have, and, because we've got plenty of fields left we can work with. And if I decide we want more hay, I can make more hay. If we want more straw, well, there's no so shortage of that stuff. Um, I'm going to have a drink very quickly when we're dropping off these bales. Cause I think that might be the, the root cause is I'm slightly dehydrated. That tends to cause a bit of a migraine and crackly throat. And I haven't been drinking all that much lately, so I think that's the issue. Let's go that in. Alright, I'm just gonna have a quick drink of water. And now I should be like, yes, <laughs> yes, that was that was the problem with my voice to an extent. Uh, ooh. <laughs> Apparently, I've got more problems than just that. Um, no, that wasn't the problem. With my voice. I think my throat's still just a bit too dry, and I need to rest my voice for the rest of the day, essentially. Um, yeah, that seems to be the issue. Is I've apparently been talking too much over the last few days, weeks, and my voice wants me to have a silent day. So I can I can deal with that. I've got the other video I have to record today, or I want to record today, um, is going to be me being silent anyway. So I guess silent day starts. Um, in about two minutes. Now, off screen I probably will sell the rest of these bales. I want to get onto some field work again. Um, but other than that, there's not going to be a whole lot done in this one off screen. I'm trying to cut down on off screen work in general. Um, not just on, well, Cobra Park, there hasn't been any intention. There was the, um, incident where I had a two hour long video eaten up by my computer because it decided it hated me. But other than that there's been no actual off screen work done. Or off camera work, whatever you want to call it. Um what have I been watching on YouTube recently actually? I don't know about that you know legit you guys had a glimpse of what I enjoy. Uh, I've been watching a lot of wrestling videos for some reason. Uh, I, I'm, I'm apparently getting back into the WWE somehow. Uh, so I'm, I'm kind of enjoying them. They're interesting, the kinds that I go for. Um, I know wrestling's fake before somebody decides to shout in the comments. I know it's fake. It's essentially um, a really well choreographed gymnastics show, which, to be honest, is how it should be advertised, instead of, you know, fighting. Because let's face it, the gymnastics those guys do are pretty impressive. Um, I've also been watching quite a lot of farm sim, as pretty much always. A lot of... Who have I been watching? Because uh, I haven't had that much time free lately. Unusually enough, well... Surprisingly, unsurprisingly enough, I should say. 
Uh, I've been watching Ian Robson, Dark Tabbers, with his new series about where he's screwing around with um, UPK placeable trees and stuff. I've um, been watching quite a lot of Dagoin. Uh, I'm interested in seeing his uh, Hagenstadt edit, actually. I might, I might want to play that myself. Who else? Uh, James R. W. Powell as well, aka Predatory Gaming, aka Jim. Uh, really enjoy watching his videos. I don't get the chance to get to many of his streams though. Um, put it to David Oldfield as well because I, can't, I actually enjoy the style of video he does where it's kind of he's chill but. He's still doing it properly and stuff. And basically any of the DOEB guys I watch their videos. Um, again, haven't been making it to many live streams lately. Because I've been busy as eh, Working on about a million different things. So that's all of the straw bales picked up. Which means that it's the end of the episode. Because I've got nothing else that I want to do today. So, I've been Rainbow Dave, you've been watching Farming Simulator 15 on Manor Farm, where I damn near got the T6040 stuff. Uh, in the next episode, I have absolutely no idea nor, no, nor any plans on what we're going to be doing, but we're going to be doing something nonetheless. Um, it might be harvesting. I don't know. If you if you have something you want to say to me, whether it's a question or a statement, um, leave a comment below and if you haven't already, please consider hitting the subscribe button that's below the video, because I know how YouTube works. La 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 la. As I said in the next episode, I have absolutely no plans on what we're going to be doing, but things are going to be put away in the meantime. So until then, stay safe, and goodbye!